Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another fresh impact episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And today I'm doing a special burger. It's not really a special burger, but hopefully today and tomorrow I've got two days of filming. So I'm hoping to get at least two videos out this week. Maybe more, hopefully more. Running up to the weekend, I have got absolutely no chance. So yes, today's video is something I've brought back from Lou's business that we were trying to sell, and that is the McVitie's Jaffa Cake Joe Nuts. There. Not that one, I can't, I've, I've pulled me back. I'm not bending down there yet for it. It'll take me about 20 minutes, get up. A Jaffa Cake Donut. Now these, in my, in my eyes, in my opinion, are absolutely magical. I love them. Shouldn't be eating them because I'm diabetic. I have had a couple at the weekend and I did enjoy them. And I thought, you know what? What would be nice? What would make them better is if I sliced them in half and stuck a burger in them. This is going to be quick, it's going to be simple, I'm not going to overcomplicate it, but what's a good burger, right? It has mince, you make your own mince, that's a good 95%, well 90% roughly mince. We've got our Jaffa Cake Joe Nuts, which are going to be served as our bum. Some cheap plastic cheese, perfect on burgers, shit on a hamburger, and uh, some smoked bacon. That is it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pan on the hob and the f I'm going to, sli I'm going to s s gently fry two slices of smoked bacon. And while we're doing that and then forming them, I'm going to put the jaw nuts back in the fridge because believe it or not, in the north of England, north of England, it's muggy as fuck. As I'm only going to make two small burgers, I'm only going to use two slices of bacon and a small portion of that mince. So the first thing is I'm going to put this on now. Uh, it goes up to six. I'm going to put it on four and a bit, like a medium, medium high. And while the pan and the oil, a bit of olive oil in there, is still cold, I'm going to slap my two slices of bacon in and let them cook nice and gently. No rush. Don't want to burn them. Don't want to burn the pan because I want to cook me a little two sliders in there to fit on my jaw nut. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back when they're done. Right, that is my bacon done. And I've decided that for the burger I'm actually going to use a griddle pan because this cast iron pan you're not supposed to use it on really high heat unless it's in the oven and uh, let's be honest I don't really want to I, it'd be nice that f they call it fondant don't they but I'm not putting anything in there to get it off the bottom all I'm going to do is add to it so I'm going to get that in the, in the sink get it soaking the bacon is done there you go and uh, yeah Get that soaking, I'm going to mould our burgers. Two of them, not massive, not tiny either, but just enough so you've got a nice, decent burger that fits on the jaw nut. Burger time. Big bag of mince. But we're not using all that. I'm going to save a lot of that for, uh, you know, other things. Maybe other burgers, I don't know. I've got some, hopefully got some else planned tomorrow, which is, is going to be pretty special. Uh, it's not a cheap video, but it's not for the channel. I'm just going to review it. It's for the business. Hopefully, hopefully it turns up tomorrow and all the things I need turn up tomorrow. But yeah, we're hoping to have a new piece of equipment for the channel tomorrow, uh, which is a cooking uh, cooking implement. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's something I've wanted for the channel. for uh, Not for the channel, for the business. For about six months and hopefully tomorrow it arrives. We've definitely got it because we've de we've paid for it and it's definitely coming. It said tomorrow, but if you don't come tomorrow, I'm going to be very disappointed, but you'll have to wait for that one because when it does arrive, I will def definitely be filming it tomorrow. 
Because I've been looking forward to it, obviously. Right, burgers. We don't want them too thick. We don't want them too big either. Maybe I've done overkill on the uh, <clears throat> size of the burger. But I am not going to flash fry these uh, in mega hot heat either. Because I've learnt my lesson. I'm also not going to be making absolutely... Well, making. I'm not going to be coating them in absolutely tons of salt either. Because I'm good at doing that as well. <laughs> It was a nice burger, that Chris, but it didn't half uh, take my breath away of it, salt and pepper. Uh, I've got no garlic, so there's no garlic, no we love garlic in this house today. But we don't need it. That is basically all we need. So we're going to coarse it now, just a little bit, quickly. Bit of salt. In fact, I might even leave out the pepper. Bit of salt. And we're not leaving out the pepper, we're going to go in now. I'm sorry if I'm around it where I do apologise. I am very limited of the camera angles I can use. So I'll pick that up. Let's get the pepper in there as well. You can't have a burger without salt and pepper. I know you can't have a burger without the SPG, which is salt, pepper and garlic. But I just cannot be bothered going shop buying garlic at the minute. I've not even passed the supermarket. And I'm not paying the corner shop price for uh, fresh or powdered garlic I think they wanted I think the shop near me they wanted three quid for a little jar of Swartz's garlic salt or garlic powder whole whole right let's get these in griddle pan and you know what we're nearly there and guess what same applies a bit of olive oil in my griddle pan and we're going to go in with our burgers these are a lot bigger than the journal but I guarantee they're going to shrink up a little bit but I have got my hole in there. Hopefully that stops it. Not sure what it does, but we'll find out. Right, I'll be back. When these are virtually cooked, we put our cheese back on, we put our bacon back on, and then we'll be down there building it, slicing our jaw nut right out of the fridge. The burger is, is done. The burger is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the oven off. Obviously, with it being electric, it keeps the heat a lot longer than what gas does. So uh, that'll keep cooking it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the cheese, you know, the, the cheap plastic cheese, which I do love on a, on a burger. I've got to say, I know people, it's divided, in it? It's divided like pineapple on a pizza. I, instantly, I would never have pineapple on a pizza. I think it's sacrilege. <laughs> But that's just my opinion. Lou loves pineapple on his pizza, but she's just playing fucking weird. Right, anyway, bacon on. Get that bacon on. On there as well. And we're now ready to let that do its thing, cool down, the cheese to melt, the bacon's hopefully warm up. But while we're doing, waiting for that, we're gonna get on the chopping block and see if I can actually slice of these jaw nuts in half. There's one thing I've learned this weekend that getting into these bastards is it's, it's a trick in itself. They don't open very well so I'm just going to get my knife in it. Slice, slice so we can get in our jaw nuts. Da, 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 da. Our McVitie's Jaffa jaw nuts which are I've got to say, whoop, are spectacular. But they're not massive. And now I have to make sure I can slice it in half and get a get a burger on it. Ain't it breaking? Do you know what? I'm a bit piss poor, but you know what we're there. I've not really thought about this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get it. Bang! Done. Right. I'm going to keep that there so the, the, the chocolate don't melt. Then, ah, oh, that is piss, that is, that is, that is bad. Mm. Oh. I'm going to do that again. Good job I've got like 3,000 of them in the fridge. I didn't cook that very well, did I? So, I'll inspection eating that one. Fabulous. I get another one. 
Like I said, like I've always said, this channel is not. Uh, what do we need to bottle bit? This channel is not perfection. Now I've cut the chocolate off that. Oh, the fuck is going on? What is going on? I'm gonna eat that as well. Right, one minute. Let's get this right. Anyone would have thought I did that on purpose just to get a sneaky Jonah. I didn't. That second one that took me three attempts is a lot better than the first attempt, which I should have discarded. But do you know what? I'm going to be testing that one because it's a better looking specimen. We'll put that one on there first. That's our first burger. That's our second burger. Basically, we're there, aren't we? We need to get that on there. Bang. Bang. This is very American or very stoner food, isn't it? But trust me, this is going to be amazing. Right, I'm going to get down there, take like kind of a B-roll. And uh, after that, we'll be up here sliding it down the gizzard. There is my McVitie's Jaffa Cake Journal Burger with cheese and bacon. And uh, yes, this is not good for you. Especially with me with diabetes, it's definitely not good for you. But I'm only having probably about two or three bites of this. And uh, <coughs> I would have thought, can you eat the rest? If not, I'll just strip it off and just eat the meat. But first, I've got to try this. I've got a small one down there. Lou will have that. And... Uh, I don't know what else that everyone's having for say I don't really care right now. I especially walk when I've got a sugar rush and I'm foaming from the mouth and lose ringing 999. Right anyway, bonapple teeth, take me gizzard. This is definitely American. I can see this in American diner somewhere. In America. Oh, I don't know where you expect me to say. I can see this in an American diner in Lithuania. <laughs> got the orange, you got the chocolate, you obviously the Jaffa cake orange. Then you got the burger and you got the small bacon and the cheese. It's just obviously it's just magical, but you know I mean? you can have this once every ten years. Hmm. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, this is messy as hell. Clogs your arteries. Send your blood sugar sky high. But I'll tell you what, it's fucking magical. Mm. Do you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed filming it and as much as I enjoyed eating that McVitie's Jaffa Cake Jornut Burger. Even though I've still got a bit there, I've got some left there, look. There you go. Uh, I'll let Kieran eat that. I've had about three bites, but that's as much, that's as, much as I'm, I'm supposed to be having. Uh, I won't be having nothing sweet or anything like that for, now, for about three, four days. Hopefully, I've got a special video planned for tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll come in time. I can get it done, edited, and be up for the day after this, uh, which is will be Tuesday. This is Monday. I'll, I'll, I'm trying to get, I'm going to get this up the same day I do it. Uh, and uh, after that, I don't know what's happening. Got a few things in the pipeline. Uh, obviously, weekend, scrap it. Saturday, Friday, maybe. Sun, Saturday, Sunday, not a chance. What a time, scratch my ass. So there won't be nothing there unless I've pre-recorded something, which 
I'm guessing that's not going to happen either. But the Jaffa Cake, McVitie's Jaffa Cake, Jaw Nut Burger. I loved it. And if you like this, press like. Comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'm going to become a family member of Hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you.